Right now we're in this era of megafires, we call them. In the last decade, Arizona's had two half million acre megafires. For firefighters, last summer's Wallow Fire may have seemed like a repeat of Arizona's second largest fire, the 2002 Rodeo Chetiskai. Helplessness, I think would be a good term for the firefighters on the ground. And you could just watch the cloud, the smoke uh, on the horizon and you knew it was coming and it was bigger than you were going to be able to deal with. Megafires kill old growth trees, burn through critical wildlife habitat and destroy homes. Once the vegetation's gone, floods from monsoon rains rip through communities. Forest ecologist Wally Covington says Arizona is set up for three more megafires across the Mugion Rim. That if we don't thin overcrowded forests. There's the Payson to Winslow corridor, the Sedona to Flagstaff corridor, and then the Prescott corridor. You can see how dark and closed in these forests have become. Where there were once 15 to 30 trees per acre, there are now hundreds, in some cases even thousands, all competing for water, sunlight, and nutrients. Knowing the fuel loads that are out there, we're going to have catastrophic fires in the future. Really, in order for us to have meaningful change on the type of fire that we're having, We've got to be treating landscape at landscape scale levels beyond what we're doing now. What we're doing now helps save towns like Greer from the Wallow Fire, but it does little to save the forest. What does that mean long term when you look out the window and what you see is black? Uh, the forest, except for the immediate vicinity of the community, is gone. It's much better to do, like in medicine, they say do preventative medicine. Don't wait till someone winds up in the emergency room. And the Wallow Fire, the Radio Tedeschi Fire, the Schultz Fire, that's letting the patient get into the emergency room. For Inside NAU, I'm Bonnie Stevens.